enjoyed because the weather was good, there was the sun, and then the wicket was also flat in the morning because of that turning. And I had to boost my intent. So runs came out of the confidence and intent because the bowlers were bowling all over the place, so it was very easy to go for the ball. Okay, what do you talk about? Uh, you came in very early after losing a quick wicket, but you were able to consolidate and uh, you just went out there and played your own game. Uh, having a good lineup from, from the top to the bottom, all batsmen can bat. So I had no pressure. I knew even if I give out like a few chances, still I would back myself and then also the team could back me up. Yeah, I think uh, we learnt a lot of lessons from Tanzania. I think at the Africa Cup, they really came after us quite hard and put us under a bit of pressure. Our review of the African T20 was basically how do we up our intensity as a group uh, and as individuals, and uh, what skills do we need to work on. So I thought the boys are really showing it. Um, unfortunately, today, most probably the batting didn't come right, because with four players scoring single figures in your top six, uh, you still back them to to find all cylinders, but uh, hopefully in the afternoon game we'll see some of the senior players that also stand up. You know, uh, the youngsters for me are so fearless. Uh, they're an exciting group of youngsters. Not only were they at the World Cup, uh, you know, the fact that we've also left out two all-rounders and a batsman just shows the depth we have in our batting and, and what we can do as a group. I thought the senior guys at the back end, Brian and Franco, uh, showed the maturity to get us to an innings. But uh, it's important that we play fearless cricket and and we try things. You know, uh, it's great opportunities uh, in, in the build-up to the next year, which, which is a very big year with World Cup qualifiers in October.